Okay, let's look at the next question. Question number two. The internal IS audit team is auditing controls over sales return and is concerned about fraud. Which of the following? Now again, the word is what fraud. Which of the following sampling methods would be the best would best assist the IS auditor? We have, you know, already discussed in the past that, you know, regarding the fraud, the sampling is what discovery sampling. All right. All we have already seen in the past. If you don't remember, go back to this sampling uh, chapter and again, listen to my recording. All right. Let's look at the next question. Question number three. An IS auditor should be uh, an IS auditor should use statistical sampling and not judgment or non statistical sampling when the question is trying to say that you know the is auditor under which circumstance or for getting which of the thing uh, is they should use this statistical sampling and not the non statistical sampling point number a the probability of error must be objectively quantified point number b the auditor wants to avoid sampling risk. Point number C, generalized audit software is unavailable. Point number D, the tolerable error rate cannot be determined. The correct option is obviously point number A, the probability of error must be objectively quantified. If you want to have, you know, if you want to know the exact error, if you want to objectively quantify the probability of the error in that case you are supposed to use the statistical sampling let's read out the reason the statistical sampling is an objective method of sampling which helps an is auditor to determine the sample size and quantify the probability of error also known as the confidence coefficient let's look at the next question question number four an IS auditor wants to determine the number of purchase orders not appropriately approved not appropriately approved basically we are talking about the compliance of a particular control approved or not approved complied or not complied yes or no which of the following sampling techniques should an IS auditor use to draw such conclusion? Point number A, judgment. Point number B, stop or go. Point number C, variable. Point number D, attribute. And the correct option obviously is point number D, attribute. All right, let's look at the next question. Question number five, the most effective audit practice to determine whether the operational effectiveness of control operational effectiveness whether the whether a particular control is operating effectively the most effective audit practice to determine whether the operational effectiveness of control is properly applied to a transaction processing it is what substantive testing now understand that when they use this word controls present or not present attribute present or not present they are talking about compliance testing testing of the compliance whether it complies or whether it not complies controls present or not present controls designed to meet a specific objective whether the controls are designed to meet a specific objective whether the controls are you know designed the way it is you know approved by the management as per the management policies and procedures whether the controls are designed again we are talking about the compliance testing but when they say controls operating effectively whether the controls actually are operating 
in that case you know you might have to actually go and check whether the controls are actually operating properly you will have to check the working the actual working of the control and when you when you will have to check the actual working of the control it belongs to substantive testing part it belongs to substantive testing part controls operating effectively controls working effectively all right controls present controls designed compliance testing controls operating effectively substantive testing we have one more question on this particular topic i think we will discuss that question here itself yes one more question on this particular topic compliance testing the auditor is looking for the controls whether the controls support the management policies and procedures the auditor is looking for the control whether it supports the management policies and procedures what exactly is auditor doing what exactly is the auditor doing he is checking whether control is operating efficiently or control is operating as designed by the management the question is talking about compliance testing the question has given the word the auditor is using the auditor is doing the uh, the compliance testing part compliance testing whether the controls support the management policies and procedures compliance testing compliance whether the controls support management policies under that which of the following option is the correct one control is operating efficiently or control is operating as designed controls are already designed by the management this is not the option okay this is the option i mean you will get uh, confused between you know two options so see understand that the controls are already designed by the management all right so the correct option is control is operating as designed and not control is operating efficiently all right the answer is control is operating as designed this is what auditor wants to know again let's look at that topic i think uh, we were looking at this question number 5 yes question number 5 is over substantive testing yes question number 6 a substantive test to verify that tape library your backup your tape library inventory records are accurate a substantive test to verify that tape library inventory records are accurate is what again look at the word substantive test not compliance substantive test point number a determine whether barcode readers are installed to determine to know whether the barcode readers are installed or not installed a feature a attribute is there or not there compliance not substantive point number b to know whether the movement of tapes is authorized authorized not authorized there is a feature whether it has this feature or it doesn't have it again compliance point number c conducting a physical count you are actually counting physically physical count of the tape inventory yes it is substantive let's look at the next point point number d checking whether receipts and issues of tapes are accurately recorded the receipts and issues of the tapes are actually you know properly recorded or not recorded again this point point number d talks about the compliance one the correct option over here is point number c conducting a physical count all right answer is point number c conducting a physical count of the tape inventory because the question is talking about su substantive test and not the compliance test let's look at the next question question number 7 which of the following would an is auditor use to determine if unauthorized modification were made to production programs which of the following would an is auditor use to know about you know whether unauthorized modifications were made or not made to the production programs again compliance testing 
unauthorized modifications were there or not there compliance testing let's look at the next question comparing data from an accounts payable application with invoices received comparing the data from the accounts payable application with the invoices received from the vendors in a in a in a month of december is best described as substantive qualitative compliance judgment sampling obviously the answer is substantive testing you are actually performing it you are comparing it you are comparing the data from the application and you are you are, you are comparing with the invoices received for a particular month here we are talking about the substantive testing part substantive testing involves obtaining audit evidence on the completeness accuracy or existence of data at the individual transaction level this can be achieved by comparing the data in the application to the base document in this case comparison is made between accounts payable data and the vendors invoices all right let's look at the next question question number 9 an is auditor is comparing equipment in production with inventory records this type of testing is an example of which is the following an is auditor is comparing equipment in production with the inventory records not compliance it is what substantive testing all right let's look at the next question question number 10 I think the last question on this uh, particular topic in a risk based IS audit where both inherent and control risk have been assessed as high in a risk based IS audit where both the inherent risk and the control risk both have been assessed as high both risk are high an IS auditor would most likely compensate for this scenario by performing what additional what substantive testing understand that when your inherent risk and control risk is low in that case even the compliance testing would be sometimes enough you are not required to you know actually perform actually look at the working uh, actually go for the substantive part if the inherent risk is low control risk is low but if the risk is high in that case you will have to take extra efforts in that case additional testing that is the substantive testing is required when the risk is high